Hey there guys, it's KCDOFN here with another music tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at a chiptune or 8-bit drum uh, sample making. We're going to take some of the samples that we have and make them into 8-bit or chiptune type sounds uh, using dblue glitch here now dblue glitch is one of my favorite plugins it's a really good friend to me we met at a party in about 86 87 uh we both had similar interests we were both uh in the duran duran fan club so we hit it off really well we're, we're doing really good to this day uh, you're gonna want to use the crusher it's got a bunch of different uh little effects you can do but you're gonna want to use the crusher to make your chiptune uh, drums or your 8-bit sound drums and I'll go through this in a second, but uh, I, I kind of wanted to show you two things that I like to do. Uh, EQ before and an EQ after the D-Blue uh, glitch plug-in here. And what that'll do is that'll give you more uh, control over your sound by shaping the EQ that goes into D-Blue glitch and that goes out of D-Blue glitch. And the reason for the EQ after is that when you run it through the crusher, you're going to get a dramatic shift in the EQ simply because you're changing the sound. So if I was to put the smooth up, I'm actually going to lose a bit of the high end. So I'll have to make up with that with the EQ. And, or if I you know, quantize it a lot, I'll end up... Well, I'll go through that in a minute. So here's the loop that we're going to be using. And you can hear that actually has the crush effect uh, playing with it. There, that, that's without the uh, crush effect. And this is with. So yeah, you can already kind of hear, uh, even at four, the uh, crush effect that's going on over top of the loop. Now we're going to make the uh, crush effect a little bit more dramatic. I'm going to play with the amount and let you hear what happens when I change the amount uh, of the bit crush effect. So you can hear a dramatic shift in the uh, sound. Now I'm also going to play with the quantize here. I'll set that at uh, 4 and then I'll play with the quantize and you can hear what that is going to do to our sound. So that is the bit reduction which is that uh, quantizes. Quantize is the bit reduction of the crusher and then smooth here is basically just going to dampen the sound. I'll go ahead and set the quantize up and do the smooth real quick just to get that out of the way. It's kind of like throwing a wet blanket over top of the sound. It dampens it and kind of gives it a different uh, lower, kind of warmer feel uh, to the sound. Now the next thing to talk about is overdrive. If you have a kick drum, you can add a little bit of gain to the kick drum. I really don't want to do that with the loop here as an example, but I do have a kick sound loaded up, so let me play that with a little bit of overdrive. It makes the kick a little bit thicker. Here's without it. So yeah, it just, it, well, it's basically an overdrive filter on top of it. Uh, it you can also put other plugins before D-Blue Glitch to also dramatically change the sound. But do be careful because overloading too many plugins before D-Blue Glitch can give you some results that you really don't want. I can't think of an example, but, you know, just play with it. But uh, also watch uh, your EQs and how the sound is changing. You don't want it to sound too bizarre so yeah the amount is the amount of the uh, sample rate reduction then the quantize is the bit depth reduction and smooth is basically just smoothing uh, the sound that you're gonna get out of it and making it a little bit warmer a little bit damper and I think that's about all I can say on the crusher effect here uh, play around with it you'll get a lot of cool effects I would suggest only doing uh, well doing each sample separately uh, maybe start yourself up a collection of them, uh, different types of samples, but uh, I wouldn't do loops. I've, I've put loops in here just to kind of show you 
the different sounds that you can get out of it. But I would do each one by itself. Use your EQ, shape the different uh, sounds of each uh, particular sample, uh, render them out, and then throw them together and go from there. I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed. If you don't have time to sit and do uh, this kind of bit reduction, there are plenty of packs on the emul uh, on the internet on the emulator. Yeah, there are plenty of effects on, on the internet that you can get for free. Uh, here's an example. This is uh, Woolus, and I'll put a link to this in the description. They've got a lot of free uh, 8-bit uh, kits and samples and stuff that you can play with. They, I haven't really used them. They seem pretty cool and whatnot, uh, but yeah, if you don't want, if you don't have the time, or if you don't want to sit there and uh, do all this different uh, glitching and uh, crushing your samples, that's fine. Personally, I would suggest it for the simple fact that it will make your track stand out, uh, as opposed to using somebody else's samples and you know possibly using a sample that a bunch of other different people have used. You can kind of get. Uh, different uh, sounds and you know make it make it your own uh, I'd also suggest playing around uh, with the crusher and maybe some of the other effects try uh, try modulating before you crush or put put it as a global effect and that will affect the uh, crusher Now remember, this is just emulating the sounds. As musicians, we can take uh, creative license with our works. You don't have to uh, necessarily make uh, chiptune music like they did back in the day. You can kind of bring that into a new, uh, into different genres, and kind of and kind of just just play with it and and make it your own. If you do, however, wish to uh, emulate. The drums perfectly. There are different softwares that you can get that will do this. Um, I, I do believe Woolis has uh, generators, sound generators that you can use uh, to do so. I, I do believe that's in there. Uh, but yeah, just basically play with it. Use uh, Crush to the best of its ability. I'm dragging on here, but uh, I'll let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. We'll see you in the next tutorial. These cars that we keep counting down sheep Like it's nothing, like we ain't got the time Like we ain't got a rhyme, like we don't need peace Like another wise who's a mind walked in its sleep Soldier born to the seed What a downtime, I do, would you please Keep fighting, no defining Gotta draw from the strong to defend the weak This war's got nothing to do with me I'm only here through a funeral